राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री 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 राम जय 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 राम दशरथ नंदन राम राम दश मुख मर्दन राम राम दशरथ मन मंदिर में गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे मन मंदिर में गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे मन मंदिर में गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे मन मंदिर में गुरु हमारे प्यार सारे विश्व का वो है दाता नारायण भगवान सारे विश्व का वो है दाता नारायण भगवान सारे विश्व का वो है दाता 
माता नारायण भगवान सारे विश्व का वो है दाता नारायण भगवान ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव 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 गुरु हमारे तन मन सब है गुरु हमारे प्राण गुरु हमारे तन मन सब है गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे तन मन सब है गुरु हमारे प्राण गुरु हमारे तन मन सब है गुरु हमारे प्यार ज्ञान भक्ति का वो है दाता नारायण भगवान 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 ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे तन है गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे धन दौलत है गुरु हमारे प्यार गुरु हमारे तन दौलत है गुरु हमारे प्यार सारे विश्व का ज्ञान प्रदाता नारायण भगवान 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 Acharya, please be seated. A very warm welcome to one and all present here to commemorate Swami Vivekananda's 150th birth anniversary celebrations. One day, Vivekanandam and also dedication of Uttishta Seva Puraskar 2013. This life is short. The vanities of the world are transient, but they alone live who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. A hearty welcome to Pujya Shri Shri Ravishankar Guruji, the founder of Art of Living Foundation. Asatoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Mrityoma Amrutangamaya. O oh God, lead us from the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge and wisdom. May I request Guruji to inaugurate today's function formally by lighting the lamp. I request the audience to please stand up as Guruji lights the lamp. Thank you.
Thank you, Guruji. We in Bharata Varsha not just consider our country as Bhumi Matra, but as Matra Bhumi or the motherland to pay homage to this land of Vedas, culture and rich heritage, may I request Sri Anup Chandran to sing our national song, Vande Mataram, written by a great son of the Veera Bhumi, Sri Bankima Chandra Chatterjee. I request everybody to stand up for the national song. वंदे मातरम सुजलाम सुभलाम मलयजशीतलाम शस्य श्यामलाम मातरम वंदे मातरम शुभ्रज्योत्सना Pulakitayamini Pullakusumita Drumadala Shobhini Suhasini Sumadhura Bhashini Sukhadam Varadam Mataram वंदे मातरम् कोटि कोटि कंठ कल कल निनाद कराले कोटि कोटि भुजे इर्द्रत घर करवाले के बोले बले बहु बलधारिणी नमामि तारिणी रिपुदलवारिणी मातरम् वंदे मातरम् तुमि विद्या तुमि धर्म तुमि ख़रदे तुमि मर्मा तुम ही प्राणा शरीरे बाहुते तुमि माँ शक्ति ख़रदे ये तुमि माँ भक्ति तो मारी प्रतिमा Mandire, Mandire Mataram, Vande Mataram. Tvamhi Durga Dasha Praharana Dharini, Kamala Kamala Dala Viharini, Vani Vidyadaini, 
namami twa namami kamalam amalam atulam sujalam subhalam mataram vande mataram shyamalam saralam सुस्मितां भूषितां धरणीं भरणीं मातरं वन्दे मातरं वन्दे मातरं बोलो भारत माता की ಭಾರತ ಮಾತೆಯ ದರ್ಶನವನ್ನೇ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತ್ರಮಿನ ಮೂಲಕ ಮಾಡಿಸಿದಂಥ ಅನೂಪ್ ಚಂದ್ರನ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅನಂತ ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಅನೂಪ್ ಚಂದ್ರನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ I just want to introduce Uttishta for you as well as welcome the gathering here. Uttishta is a multifaceted organization conceptualized by a small group of youngsters with a big idea in the year 2006 and came into formal existence in 2008. Uttishta primarily aims to serve people who have been socially and economically marginalized by reaching out to them with programs to foster self-reliance and to aim to reduce dependence on outside assistance. Uttishta conducts programs such as assistance to students in education, deliver cost-effective and culturally aligned health services to most vulnerable including women, children and marginalized people, provide relief to people affected during natural man or man-made calamities, empowering communities and individuals through sustained support, conduct programs that promote cultural and moral value in society. This is a brief introduction about Uthishta, ladies and gentlemen. As I told you earlier, Uthishta has organized this program on the occasion of 150th birth celebration of Swami Vivekananda. We are celebrating the 150th birth year celebration and many events are organized across the globe on this occasion. He declared service is the best form of worship. In, in order to celebrate this year in a meaningful way, Uttishta conducted programs like sponsor child program, plant a tree, join hands with art of living in the river Kumudavati rejuvenation project. Uttishta volunteers and families planted more than 500 tree saplings in the Mahimapura village. Some of the other programs organized this, in, this year on account of the 150th birth celebration is supporting tribal hostels by providing facilities distributing books and study materials to kids, etc., facilitating medical help to the needy, organize cultural event to promote our values and tradition. Uttishta, the name of the organization itself is inspired by Swami Vivekananda. It is, is, it is Uttishta's mission to spread this message to all the people around us. I also welcome Shri Shri Guruji. I take this opportunity to formally welcome Pujya Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Guruji to this gathering. He, notes, he needs no introduction with millions of followers worldwide. Art of Living Foundation and its core component for stress relief, the Sudarshana Kriya, its cornerstone has been practiced by his disciples from various walks of life. Guruji's ability to connect with people is perfectly effortless. 
and his spiritual appeal irresistible guruji's maha mantra proclaims violence free society disease free body queer free breath confusion free mind inhibition free intellect trauma free memory and a sorrow free soul shall be the birthright of every human being he is widely traveled with devotees from all religions sects and races he has even traveled to countries like iran and pakistan where there is so much of religious intolerance and violence this demonstrates his love for peace and harmony as he quotes my vision is a stress free violence free world i extend my heartfelt welcome to all the members of svmm sri vivekananda medical mission who have come all the way from attapadi palakkad to be with us today a warm welcome to all invitees members from the print and electronic media and you all for taking out your valuable time on a working day to be present at this function i request one of a leading gynecologist dr kamala unnikrishnan to hand over a token of appreciation to shri guruji dr kamala unnikrishnan is not only a leading gynecologist she is a, she is a person who is involved in social work and very much in spiritualism a few words about the token of appreciation given to shri shri guruji it is a armula kannadi armula kannadi means armula armula mirror it is handmade metal alloy mirror made in armula a village in kerala unlike the normal silvered glass mirrors being a metal alloy mirror it is front surface reflection mirror which eliminates secondary reflections and aberrations the exact metal used in this alloy is unknown to people and is maintained as a family secret so it is and it brings luck guruji so i wish this mirror brings i wish this mirror brings good luck to guruji in the form of a nobel peace prize which he truly deserves now we have the dedication of the uttishta seva puraskar for 2013 i request dr narayanan v chief medical officer of sri vivekananda medical mission sri vps menon president of vivekananda medical mission and secretary kl prem kumar to come on stage this uttishta seva puraskar consists of a shield citation and a cash award of rupees 1 lakh 1 is constituted by uttishta to support organization working in the field of social service this award in 2012 was given to agastyar bala samskara kendra who were working for the development of kani tribal in the field of education and this year's award goes to swami vivekananda medical mission attapadi palakkad kerala the swami vivekananda medical mission was started in 2002 in attapadi it's a tribal settlement area inspired by the ideals of swami vivekananda they started the mission by organizing medical camps in the remote tribal villages later on in june 2003 an outpatient clinic and dispensary was started in agali which had grown into a full fledged hospital by june 2006 the swami vivekananda medical mission also runs a school 
which gives free education to tribals and other poor students. Some of the other activities of Sri Vivekananda Medical Missions are mobile medical units, village health work projects, eye treatment camps, community mental health projects, alcohol de-addiction campaigns, sickle cell anemia project, and so on. We salute Sri Vivekananda Mission for their commitment to the society, benevolence, and uncompromising determination. We invite the Vivekananda Mission to receive the Uttishta Seva Puraskar from Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Guruji. Swami Vivekananda said, you cannot help anyone, you can only serve. Serve the children of the God, serve the God himself. If you have the privilege, if the Lord grants that you can help anyone of his children, blessed you are. Do not think too much of yourselves. Blessed you are that privilege was given to you when others had it not. Do it only as a worship. I request them to receive the shield and the citation. Thank you very much, Shri Shri Guruji. I request someone from SVMM to talk a few words. Their president. VPS Menon is going to talk a few words. Well, what an evening. What an experience. What a feeling. I don't know how to express. Your Holiness, Param Pooja, Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. First of all, I would like to convey my colleagues as well as the people of Attapadi's pranam to you. Please accept and bless us. Thank you. The organizers of uh, this function, members of Uttishta Service Trust, invited guests, my colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen. As I've already said, this has been a wonderful evening, a unique experience, an unforgettable feeling. For a small group of people working for the benefit of downtrodden people in a very unknown area of Palakkad district called Attapadi, which consists of three panchayats with a population of about 30, 40,000 tribal people. For such a small group of people to be selected all the way from many other such organizations working all over India, and to be chosen as the best service organization by 
another trust, none other than Uttishtha, is itself is a big achievement. But to add everything to it, to receive the award from none other than, than Guruji himself has been, as they say, Sonapa Suhag, some fragrance on gold, something like that. Thank you, Uttishtha. Thank you for all the invited guests and well wishes who have gathered here to grace this occasion. Just a few words about our trust and its activities. As you will be seeing in the presentation very soon, our activities are all shown there. As it was already told, we work for the health benefits of the Adivasi people there. Of course, there are many other organizations also working there, especially we have tribal hospitals there run by the government. But in spite of all that, we have been working there for the last 10 years. I think there should be some reason for the Adivasis to accept us as the foremost hospital which serves very sincere and very good hospital facilities to them. Thanks to the sincere and selfless work of the people involved, that is Dr. Narayanan, and his co-workers in the hospital. Of course, you will be seeing everything about the activities in the presentation, but what you won't be getting from that presentation will be what and who are the people working behind it. The, it is none other than Dr. Narayanan himself. Single-handedly, he has started the movement. He has organized the hospital. He has organized a few like-minded youngsters from the area, and the group has been working for the benefit of the Adivasis for the last 10 years. <laughs> to, to that extent that the hospital is now known not as uh, Swami Vivekananda Medical Hospital, but Narayanji's hospital. Yes. His influence and his acceptance among the Adivasis are so great that he is accepted without any doubt as the best medical officer working in that area. So that is what I have to say. Everything else will be shown in the presentation itself. I would like to take this opportunity to once again thank every one of you who are gracing this occasion, who have given your support by your just presence here and of course, the Uttishta organizations for conducting this grand, grand ceremony. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Sri Menon. I also would like to add here, State Bank of India has honored Dr. Narayanan, the Chief Medical Officer on State Bank of India Annual Day on July 1st, 2013 at Tiruvananthamuram for his social work in Attapadi. Now, Srimati Shiji will be rendering the Nirvana Shatakam. Mano Buddhya Hankara Chit Shivoham Shivoham Na 
ಸಂಯು ನ ವೈ ಪಂಚವಾಯು ನ ವಾಸ thank you very much for that excellent recitation of nirvana shatakam of shankaracharya i'm sure all are eagerly waiting to hear from pujya guruji and imbibe some of his learnings may i humbly request guruji to address the gathering and enlighten us the name of the organization itself is giving them message uttishta get up everybody get up <laughs> now you can't sit in the same chair change your chair you sit in the next chair yeah everybody change your seat Che sit in another chair go to that chair and they go to your chair it'll create some chaos <laughs> yeah now you can sit <laughs> did you get this is the message in life time and again we have to get up and change our place now those of you who have an empty chair next to you raise your hand and let others who need a chair can come and sit there so many of you are standing there ah you can stand up see there is a chair vacant and you can move one person move move from that chair yeah move down 
move down keep moving down and leave the last chairs free so people sitting on the floor can sit on the chair see leave one one chair free now see how many how everybody is getting some place to sit <laughs> this is what happens when everyone gets up what happens when everyone stands up there is place for everyone the world has enough to feed everyone it's not to the greed of everybody you have heard that before and this is exactly we are stuck in our life to some position when you are stuck in a position that is when you become miserable you should be moving like when the water is moving it doesn't decay it stagnates starts breeding ground for mosquitoes dengue mosquitoes and all sorts of problems come when it is stagnant it becomes dirty there are still few chairs there left isn't it some of you standing come up and sit here sit sit see there are two three chairs there i can see one right in front of me here <laughs> that is taken yeah occupied in life it's a knowledge that moves you that doesn't let you stagnate gyanam ha gyana idre chalana irutade jeevanadalli so in knowledge moves you knowledge moves you then there is action there is devotion everything else is abundance and bhagavat kripa ah see now you are getting place for everybody same way here if if you keep moving to that chair madhyadal yerad chair idya alli idya one chair khali idya allindalli hogri alli hogri alli konel nintira avrige those in the end will get a place to sit so we need to take that responsibility right huh and that is a message of swami vivekananda this is the message from the upanishad ustishta jagrata prapya varanni bodhata get up and ask what you want you will be given hmm there is one more chair there i think <laughs> two more are there ha ah, move move down ee kade band bidi alli iravaru kannada barutha that is seva what is consideration seva is not what you do but your attitude we are sitting here there is a chair empty and there is someone standing on that side you move from here to there and let them sit in that chair why we should be stuck to our our place in life we should not be stuck this is what happens in the house even though you become older you are so stuck to your place that you don't let your children take charge and run the house that's the mother in law daughter in law problem <laughs> daughter in law has come house give her freedom let her cook the way she want let her run the house no the mother in law wants everything to be run her, in her manner and then daughter in law feels suffocated same with when children grow up they want to do the business or they want to do things in their way but the elders say no you have to do what i am saying 
even at the age of 85, the father holds the whole key and the son feels so suffocated. He's already 50. <laughs> Says, when will my creativity have a role to play? There's no also I had to listen to my father, who is 85 already. Doesn't let me do anything of my choice. Even to buy a curtain color, father have to approve. <laughs> Then children feel so suffocated. That's why I say, in life, you should move. Don't be stuck. We get stuck mentally. Oh, that person said this thing to me. This person said this thing to me. Whoever has said whatever, they have forgotten. Those who have said have forgotten. Those who have heard have treasured all those in their mind and suffering. Do you get what I'm saying? Those who blame you, they forgot that they, they blamed you. But you have taken that blame and you are suffering. Huh? See, you have insulted somebody at some point of time in life, you have forgotten that. But if you get insulted, you hold on to it. This is where you have to get up from that place. What? We are rottening in a place, thinking about the insults of the past. Now I would say, get up, move on. Charai veti, charai veti. Move forward, go forward in life. Life is like a running stream. Every moment there is new water, fresh water. Every moment there is... It, life does not choose, a river does not choose. This is dirty dirt, I won't carry it, or this is flowers, I carry you. No. When rain comes, the river carries the dirt, the logs and flowers, everything. And you put flowers in the river, it will carry that also. You put lights, lamps in the river, it will carry that also. Like that in life, we should carry on. Some pleasant moment, some unpleasant moment. These things come and go, and don't be get, don't be stuck. Huh? Get up and move. This is the essence of Swami Vivekananda's teaching, as far as I know. To be honest, I have not read books. Tell you, I have not read any single book of Swami Vivekananda. All I have read is the original Gita shlokas. Just to confirm what I know is what is right, really right, written there. And a little bit Upanishads here and there. But I tell you the essence of the Dharma is this, that be connected to the divinity which is anyway connected to you. Ah, now see, we can't survive without air. Can you survive without air? No. But when you sit near the fan, you can feel the air, right? Not that the air is only near the fan. In the same way, satsang, sadhana, uh, places of worship is all just like fan. Where you sit, you feel the air, breeze. In the same way, knowledge, Meditation, devotion, singing, all this would help you to feel the presence of divinity which is already there, all the time, everywhere, with everybody. Huh? That is what is, God is not something that is very difficult to achieve. How many of you think, so difficult to achieve God? Raise your hand. How many of you think, so difficult? No, no, it's foolishness. God is the cheapest commodity. <laughs> but you may not get good fresh air somewhere, but God is still there also. So what are the three dharanas you must have in mind? What? Ishwar is mind. The divinity is mind. He belongs to me. Since he is everywhere, he is in me also. Since he is all the time there, he is there now also. 
not wait for a century to come, next century. Sometime I will experience God, maybe in the next janma. No, no. God is here because He is everywhere. God is all the time present, so He is present now. And He is in everybody, so He is in me too. This is enough, finished. Nothing more is needed. Huh? Devru Nanavanagi Dane, Yella Rugu Serdona, other in the Nanak Serdono, Yella Kade Irodrin and Nanolugu Idane, Yavaglu Irodrinda, Yiglu Idane, Y Moor Dharan eight con salpat to Kut Kombitre. Few minutes you sit with your eyes closed with these three Dharanas. Mind becomes so still, quiet, tranquil, and get united. Then you will see vibrating with bliss. Your body, your mind, everything is soaked in God. So don't go in search of God. What? Just settle down. Three dharanas, what are they? God it cannot be in somewhere and not somewhere. God is everywhere, so He is here. God has always been there, so He is now. And then here and now and then is mine. He belongs to everybody, so He belongs to me. This three dharana. Eh? And then three more dharanas I'll give you. Three more dharanas I can tell you. What is that, you know? Acha. For next, I don't want anything. Whatever I need will be provided to me. I don't want anything. And then I don't have to do something to please God. This is a big mistake we think. Oh, you sit and do fasting, then you will please God. Just ask, I'm asking you a question. Your child fasts, does an upava satyagraha, will you be pleased by that? Any mother, will the mother like their children to do fasting? Huh? Will you be very happy? Oh, look, my son has fasted for one whole day. Mother will be more miserable. <laughs> so, you don't need to do something to please God, remember. God is not an entity out there sitting. Oh, you don't do doing wrong? Take a stick and tack. I'm ready to punish you, no. God is love, love is God. Asti, bhati, preeti. It is, it shines and it is love. That is the satchidananda, truth, consciousness and bliss. That's it. And you want to be blissful? Just do this. What? I want nothing for some time, because whatever I need, I will get it. And I do nothing. Next few minutes, I will not do anything. Aprayatna, acha, and akinchan, I am nothing, I am nobody. If you think you are somebody, then you can't meditate. So the three things you remember, I want nothing, I do nothing, I am nothing. I am neither intelligent, nor I am fool. If you think, nor I am very holy, nor I am unholy, and the sinner. If you think you are the worst sinner, no possible. If you think you are so holy, no possible. I am nobody. What's it? I am nobody, I do nothing, I want nothing. These three principles, if you have few moments, that's it, you'd get into a deep sense of connectivity with the cosmic presence. And that's it. Huh? For that you should take a little time in a, in a year, three, four days for yourself. Do some meditation. It uplifts you. And that's what Swami Vivekananda has always upheld. What? Said Guru Bhakti. The way he got himself connected with Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. 
and his presence. You know, why you should feel connected? Because then you draw energy from that source. You are not alone. You know? <clears throat> when a son or daughter of an industrialist goes out, he takes the business card, okay? I am from whatever, Tata's or Birla's or whatever. So he takes pride, he, you, it's like your passport, you take pride in your inheritance. Like that, that gives you so much power, right? Same way your education, wherever you go, what do you say? You take pride in your education. I am IITN, I am a graduate, I am a scientist, I am so and so. So you feel connected so that your personality or your confidence or your strength is increased. Similarly, the Guru Tattva, Acharya Tattva is there to increase your energy, your, your confidence and your power. And that's what Swami Vivekananda always did. God said, I'm connected to, the, to Gurudev. There's a beautiful song he, he had written himself. Um, Shakti Samudra Samudra Tarangam Have you heard this song? How many of you have not heard? Not heard. Uh, Swami Vivekananda has written this song. Shakti Samudra Samudra Tarangam Gurudev is what? Just energy. is an ocean of energy. And he is a big storm in the, in the ocean of energy. The whole world is just energy. So that connectivity comes, then life becomes so much richer. Mm. And coming to the seva aspect, seva is not something you do to get credit. It is your nature. You can't but be without doing seva. That is the real seva. Is what? I can't but do it. So I do it. So I would suggest you all should spend five days to improve your personality. Because seva should, it's just a reflection of your personality. Anybody doesn't do seva, means their personality is not so, it's not a good quality. Quality of life is indicated by the personality and personality is indicated by seva. <coughs> yeah? So five days, all youngsters will have to uh, spend in different locations to develop your personality. You want to know? Yeah. One day in mental hospital. <laughs> you know why? If you spend one day in mental hospital, you know how irrelevant people are talking, you won't get upset. Because you know you are in mental hospital. So <laughs> and sometimes you can realize the same people are outside also. <laughs> if anybody says anything, why should I get upset? Why should I spoil my mood because of somebody saying something? So a day in mental hospital will help you to not to be reactive in your personality. Understand, this man, this, uh, this man or this lady need to go to the hospital. They are outside the hospital. So you will be at peace. Got it? So one day in mental hospital can give you a strength of not being football of others. Opinions. And one day in school, if you go to his primary school and teacher has to teach the same thing so many times till a child gets it, it improves our patience. Same way in life. Sometimes youngsters, you have to tell the same thing to your parents in so many ways.
before they understand it. Yeah? How many of you agree that? Look at everybody, all young people are agree. Same with elders also. You have to say the same thing to your children so many times. They may agree, may not agree. So you get the patience to interact with people. If you spend one day in a school with a primary teacher, teaching a rhyme so that they get it correct, say it correct, and grasp it. And one day in the field as a farmer, you must spend one day planting tree. Then you know the value of food. You will not waste food and you will honor food. One day you should. And then that it is good if everyone, you know today what is happening? Boys who are doing work in the farms and are doing uh, in farming, they are not getting girls to marry them. Nobody wants to give their girls to, to a farmer. So they leave the farmland, they leave agriculture. Agriculturists are in such de despair today. They come to city and do some auto rickshaw, this and that other jobs. Because we have not been giving the dignity of the profession. Agriculture has its dignity. Just imagine nobody goes to the field, nobody does agriculture. How well will we all survive? Agriculture is important. You should really honor that field and bring dignity to that field. So spend some time planting tree or working in agriculture. This could be a very good seva both learning and it is relaxing also. Instead of just sitting and reading or doing something, you are with the soil, you are with the mud, you are planting tree, you are planting pea, walk, walking in the paddy field. It is a joy in itself. It's a relaxation in itself. And it is seva of the first grade. So one day in, as former, how many happened? Mental hospital? School, farmer, one day in prison. I said, oh my God. You don't have to do a crime to go to a prison. Just go and talk to people, how they have gotten in there. You know, you will feel compassion. Instead of anger and hatred towards criminals, you will feel compassion. You will feel grateful. My goodness, thank God. God did not put me in that position. He could have made me do the same crime. Thank God, God did not put me in that position. And your heart will blossom. You will have compassion. Compassion for those people who have by some misunfortunate deeds gotten into the prison. Very important. And then, Fifth, huh? hospital. Spend one day in hospital, then you will stop stuffing yourself with all junk food all the time. <laughs> huh? You will understand how precious our body is, how precious our mind is, how precious our eyesight are. All night, kids stay up till 2, 3, watch internet, watch movies, watch this and that. Watch 3, 3 movies in a week. My goodness. So much strain on the brain. I want you to do one thing. Just watch people when they enter into cinema theater. Take a picture. And take their picture when they come out after 2 and a half hours. Look at their face. Is it blissful, joyful, happy? Uh, <laughs> drained, tired, drained, and completely weak. Huh? Former or later? When they come out of the movie, what is your experience? When you come out of the movie theater, do you feel heavy or are tired or energized? Tired? 
tired. See, if we are tiring our brain like this three days a, a week, two days a week, how much drain, uh, potential or energy we are draining out of ourselves. And how can we study, how can we contribute, how can we be creative? India has not brought up many Olympic sports people, why? Why will we lack in creativity? Why this country is going down the drain? Why this country has not one single university in the first 500 universities of the world? First 50 universities, many of them are in China. They were so behind us, they have gone so much in front of us. Why we are doing, what has happened to our youth? These are the questions I leave with you to ponder on. We need to take our country forward. Love for God and love for country are two sides of the same coin. Country means society, not, not or the world. Love for God and love for the world, say. And here in this country, our youth should wake up. First, become good volunteer for the country. At least give one hour every day. That is seven hours a week for bettering the country, bettering the society. And I'm very happy Uttishta took all these uh, beautiful projects, river cleansing, tree planting, helping the medical, uh, you know, facility, facilitating that. All these things we need to do. And on top of all these, you should go and vote when there is an opportunity to vote. <laughs> Many of the good people in society, they say, oh, anyway, politicians are like that. Every party has corrupt people. It's all, what is the point of me going, standing in the sun there and voting? Don't do that. You, every vote counts and good people should come forward and vote. Not the criminal candidates, good people. We should vote good people. <laughs> One third of the parliamentarians of our country have criminal records on them. You have heard about this. You have we should not allow this to repeat in 2014. We should see good people come. We all should work for a change. So ladies also, money, money, hogi, door to door you go, slums you go, ellar go heli, ella bani, change maani, desha ke ondu, vallaya, deepa kodana, raste kodana. Idu Swami Vivekanandra message. Adrina, dhyana, jnana, bhakti, jyotake desha prema. If you ever do serially, nimgella valle dagatte in the heli, a mad matan mugustini. Om Namashwa. After listening to Guruji, I once again can say only one saying by Swami Vivekananda. India will be raised not with the power of the flesh, but with the power of the spirit. Not with the flag of destruction, but with the flag of peace and love. One vision I see clear as life before me, that the ancient mother has awakened once more, sitting on her throne, rejuvenated, more glorious than ever. Proclaim her to all the world with a voice of peace and benediction. Thank you very much Guruji. Karikramada Kone Hantake Bandidene Yella Matagalana English Al Heli Kone Dagi Kannada Dali Vandanar Pane and Namartai Dene Yesto Kalasa Karigal Idru Vishwa Parayatane Sadakala Marta Idru Guruji Auro ये कार्यक्रम के नमक करेगे वो गोटी बंद वो गोट बंदी दारे अवर ये अनंत अनंत धन्यवाद गलो उच्च इष्ट समस्ते इंदा अधेर रीते ये सबांगन वन्ना कोटन्ता ये अल्ला एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अवर इगो मत्ते कैलसा मार्ड जनता प्रतिवब्बा सेक्युरिटी इंदा येर दो इली नमा बाथरूम अन्ना क्लीन मार्ड अवर इगो कुडा अनंत अनंत धन्यवाद गलो 
ಉತ್ತಮ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಜನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಭಜನಾ ಮಂಡಳಿಯವರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಉತ್ತಮ ಧ್ವನಿ ಧ್ವನಿವರ್ತಕವನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದವರಿಗೆ ಅನಂತಾನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಾಫರು ವಿಡಿಯೋಗ್ರಾಫರ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾದಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಅನಂತ ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಕೊನೆಯದಾಗಿ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಇಷ್ಟರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಯಶಸ್ಸಾಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರಣ ಆದ ಕಾರಣೀಭೂತರಾದಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಗಳು ಹೋಗುವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಮೆಸೇಜನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋಣ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಭಾರತ ಆಗೋಣ ನನ್ನ ಶಿರ ಕಾಶ್ಮೀರ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ನನ್ನ ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮ ಕನ್ಯಾಕುಮಾರಿ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ನನ್ನೆರಡು ತೋಳುಗಳು ಅದು ಹಿಮಾಲಯದ ಶ್ರೇಣಿ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ನನ್ನೆರಡು ತೊಡೆಗಳು ಅದು ಪೂರ್ವ ಮತ್ತು ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಘಟ್ಟ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ನನ್ನ ಕಟಿ ವಿಂಧ್ಯ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ನಾನು ನಡೆದರೆ ಭಾರತ ನಡೆದಂತೆ ನಾನು ನುಡಿದರೆ ಭಾರತ ನುಡಿದಂತೆ ಇದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ಇದೇ ಶಂಕರ ಅನ್ನುವ ಒಂದು ಸಂದೇಶವನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಈ ಭಾರತವನ್ನು ಜಗನ್ಮಾತೆಯನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಒಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಶ್ರಮಿಸೋಣ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ 